In each experiment, we'll see a chart in this part of the screen. You don't have to worry about whether these charts are getting saved because the software will do that. So let's go to our, to our MAR our directory. And we will have here, this is our internet output. These were our three tests. Let's look at our optimized results first. We can see from the optimized results that the 125 length parameters produced the best results. That was a 1.25 number. If we go back here, we'll see that buy and hold is generating about a 0.4. Um, this, these are log returns, natural log returns. And we see that the 500 generates the 0.977, and that happens to be the set of parameters we have here. We can now look at this, and let's look at the 125. This produces our result file, and here's what our result file is. You can see a lot, a lot of the performance came from how well it did in 08, but here's our Armagarch performance, and here's buy and hold. Now, this will produce two other files, and what these are are, are the date and the prediction made on that date, which is, and the prediction is for the next bar in the future. So this is a one day return prediction. So here's the, so we start with the signals, one day in the future. Minus ones for a negative day and plus ones for a positive day. We also have the raw values for those predictions. And these are predictions for natural log returns, of course, as I said. And we can see that they ended 7.10. So these files here are the ones we're going to be using to build our trading systems with, these predictions.